The first thing that you want to do after installing WordPress is probably to edit the home page. But regardless, if you use TV, Elementor or any other page builder or theme, it could be a bit confusing to find out how to do that. I'm Victor at Divimundo.com and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can edit and change the home page on your website the correct way. So here we have a fresh installation of WordPress and uh, it's using the theme, the default theme 2023. So to the top left you can see the site name and to the right we have a menu with a list of pages and now it's just the sample page. We have some kind of title here and also a list of blog posts. And the hello world post is created automatically by WordPress. Now this is pretty much it and if you want to edit this page there is no link up here to edit the page which is available for every other page on WordPress. You can edit the site but you cannot edit the page. Now this could be pretty confusing. Oh that's confusing. And the reason for this is that the home page in WordPress is a template and not a page by default. To solve this let's head over to the WordPress dashboard. And let's go to pages because you've probably been in here looking. And here we have a sample page created by WordPress. And there we have a draft as well with a privacy policy also created by WordPress. So let's say that you create a new page. And we can call it my home page. And it doesn't matter if you use Divi or Elementor. The process is basically the same. And the problem is also the same. And now I can just add maybe an image and maybe some text add any content oops and i'll click publish publish now we can look around for a while to see where can i choose that this should be my home page to replace the blog list page well you can't so let's not waste any more time on doing that i will show you the right way and it's kind of a hidden feature in wordpress i would say so let's go back to the WordPress dashboard by clicking the top left corner. And the secret place to look in is hidden under settings and reading. So the first reading setting here is that your homepage displays your latest posts. And this might be fine if you just want to create a basic blog, but I want to create a nice looking home page. So I will click the second option here that I want to display a static page. And now I will get a list here of different pages to select from. So I will click it and I'll choose the page that I created and call my home page. And you can see that we see also the sample page here, but we do not see the privacy policy page here. And the reason for that is that the privacy policy is a draft. So you have to publish a page before you can choose it to be the home page. So don't forget that if you don't see your home page in here. So I'll select my home page and I'll click save changes. Now, if I head back to the pages tab, we can now see that my home page is front page which means that it has replaced the old blog list that we saw before. You can also see here that the privacy policy is a draft. So if you want to publish a page quickly, you can go to quick edit and you can go to status and change it from draft to published and click update. And now you can set that page to homepage as well if you would like to. But let's head over to my website again to see the changes. And here we go, I have my custom homepage. And now I finally have this edit page link in the top, so I can click it. And I can update it here. That's all for today. If you liked this video, please leave a thumbs up, maybe a comment, and also subscribe to my channel. That helps me to reach out to more viewers. See you next time.